It is happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening, just as Bible prophecy foretold, revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord for his church. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of what is really happening in the world today. That is the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord. As we are helping people to get ready now for when the Lord Jesus appears for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days Church that is praying and giving to support this ministry. There's prophetic news for the Holy Land where the world order of nations has overwhelmingly voted to tell Israel that they have 12 months to get out. That they have 12 months to get out of the old city of Jerusalem and get to get out of Judea or else. As the world order of nations has put Israel on the clock with a timeline of 12 months, ordering that all Jews must get out by then to where the city of old Jerusalem, the historic capital of Israel, and Judea, the historic heartland of Israel. They said in 12 months that they must be free of Jews or else action will be taken against Israel by the nations of the world. And the Holy Bible prophecies foretold that this would happen in the end time. For the prophecies say that the nations <clears throat> will gather against Israel because of Jerusalem and Judea, and that the nations will cleanse half of Jerusalem of Jews and cleanse all of Judea of Jews in their days of vengeance upon Israel that will bring the end of this age and the return of Lord Jesus Christ. The United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution with them demanding that within a year that Israel entirely pull out of all areas that the UN considers to be Palestine. And they also called for an embargo on military arms to Israel that could be used in those same areas as this UN resolution called for Israel to end without delay what they call its unlawful presence in what they call the occupied Palestinian territory. So that within 12 months, all Jews will be removed whether soldiers or civilians. The UN also called on member nation states to take steps toward ceasing the importation of any, project, any products originating in the Israeli settlements, as well as stopping the provision or transfer of military arms and munitions to Israel, where they said there are reasonable grounds to suspect that they may be used in what they call the occupied Palestinian territory. Now, this UN resolution was sponsored by, the, by what the UN now recognizes as the State of Palestine, where the State of Palestine was recognized by a majority of the member states of the United Nations earlier this year. And now this UN resolution for Israel to get out in 12 months was the first that the State of Palestine has filed after being granted unprecedented privilege as a non-UN member earlier this year, when it was sponsored for this by more than 40 countries and then with a majority of 124 nations approving. And this state of Palestine, which is governed by the Palestinian Authority, they submitted this resolution along with 29 other mostly Muslim countries that also oppose Israel. 124 countries supported this UN resolution telling Israel to get out. 14 opposed it and 43 abstained 
which is actually a vote for it with reservation. Israel responded to this resolution with its foreign ministry office saying that it was a distorted decision that is disconnected from reality and that encourages terrorism and they said harms the chances for peace. They went on to say that Israel will respond accordingly, but did not lay out exactly how it may retaliate against the Palestinian Authority for this move. But they said that the Palestinian-led UN resolution, which calls for these unilateral moves against Israel, they said it will not end the conflict, but will embolden and already radicalize Palestinian Authority, they said. And the ministry added that, the Israeli ministry added that peace can only and will only be achieved through direct negotiations and the de-radicalization of the Palestinian Authority. This UN resolution, which gives Israel 12 months to get out of its historic homeland and its historic capital, was brought forward into the UN General Assembly for vote by the advisory our advice of the World Court of International Justice. Were the World Court, in their opinion, in an earlier ruling this year, they said that Israel's control of Palestinian territories and settlements is illegal and must be withdrawn and that this should be done as rapidly as possible. Now you will hear some who say that this ruling is not binding or in Forcible, but that is not accurate, as now we are seeing how that this resolution through the UN was brought about by the world court's ruling against Israel to where the world court's ruling is being used as a legal ruling that is a legal precedent for further resolutions, and rulings against Israel, both legally and procedurally. And I'm here telling you now, according to the prophecies of the Lord God, that they will also take action on this in the near future. The UN General Assembly, in passing this resolution, not only did they bring it forward and pass it on the advice or advisory of the World Court, But also in passing this resolution, they also invoke the previously passed UN resolution that was passed by the Security Council, the UN Security Council, after President Obama, in his last days in office, chose not to veto it, allowing it to pass. And it is part of Obama's legacy of his animosity. of his animosity toward and betrayal of Israel. And that previous resolution that was allowed by the Obama administration, with him not invoking their veto, they allowed it to be reviewed and to be passed by the UN Security Council. That UN resolution and the advice of the World Court has now brought about this resolution giving this UN resolution of the World Order of Nations giving Israel 12 months to get out of old Jerusalem and out of Judea. That previous UN Security Council resolution that Obama allowed to pass, it said that Israel's establishment of settlements in any territory deemed as being Palestine that any established of settlement since 1967, including inside of East Jerusalem and Judea, that they have no legal validity and that they are a flagrant violation of international law. And that resolution allowed to pass by Obama, it also reiterated the Security Council's demand that Israel stop all settlement activities in what they call the occupied Palestinian territories. And they also said that they would not recognize any changes to the June 1967 lines of territory. 
But all this time since, Israel has continued their settlements in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria at a record pace. As Israel says, if they are reclaiming their ancient ancestral land as described in the Holy Bible Scriptures for thousands of years. But now, after the Jews of Israel were attacked unprovoked by the Palestinians of Hamas from Gaza, who tortured, raped, and killed over a thousand Jews and then took hundreds more captive into the underground dungeons inside of Gaza, Israel has now responded by also retaking Gaza and defeating the Palestinians of Hamas in Gaza. And now the nations are gathering together, rising up against Israel in the last days of Bible prophecy over these retaliations tit for tat between Israel and the Arabs. With the world order of nations at the UN having now agreed to tell Israel You've got 12 months to get Jews out of the old city of Jerusalem and to get Jews out of Judea, Judea and Samaria and to get Jews out of Gaza or else. As the nations have gathered against Israel, giving them a timeline of 12 months to cleanse Jews from the old city of Jerusalem, the ancient historic capital of Israel, and to get Jews out of Judea, the historic ancient heartland of Israel, or else the nations are threatening that they will take serious action against Israel. And these current events that I am describing to you right now, between Israel and the world order of nations, that is resulting in the world order of nations reactions to Israel and their plans on Israel. All of these current events are following exactly the path that was laid out in Holy Bible prophecy of what will happen in the prophetic last days between Israel and the world. The Holy Bible prophecies foretold these current events concerning Israel that are happening now were one, it was foretold in the prophecy of Joel 3, that there would be retaliations upon Israel for them coming back into, for them being restored into Judah and Jerusalem. And that is happening exactly as foretold. And then secondly, the same prophecy also foretold that the retaliations upon Israel would come from the biblical coast of Philistia, which is today's Gaza of Hamas, and would also come from Tyre and Sidon, which is today's southern Lebanon of Hezbollah. And that is happening exactly as foretold. And thirdly, the same prophecy also foretold that these increasing retaliations between Israel and the Arabs would cause the nations to awaken and to gather against Israel. And we certainly see how that is happening in the United Nations world order exactly as foretold. And then fourthly, the same prophecy also foretold that the nations would divide up the Holy Land of the Lord. And that is happening exactly as foretold. With the nations saying to divide the West Bank of Judea and Samaria away from Israel and to divide the old city of Jerusalem from Israel. And fifthly, it was foretold in the Bible prophecies of Zechariah 14 that the city of Jerusalem would also be divided by the nations, and that is exactly their plans, as foretold in the United Nations World Order Resolutions, where them saying to divide the old city of East Jerusalem from West Jerusalem of Israel. And six, it was foretold in the Bible prophecies as Joel 3 and Zechariah 14 that the nations would awaken, that would prepare them for war with them threatening Israel with military action to divide the Holy Land and the Holy City. And right now today, they are threatening Israel with that very exact thing right out of the Bible prophecies. To where number seven, 
it is foretold in the Bible prophecies as Luke chapter 21 that the nations will order the Jews out of Judea and will order them out of half of Jerusalem, of the old city of Jerusalem that includes the Temple Mount. And it's happening right now with the nations giving Israel 12 months to get out of the old city of Jerusalem and to get out of Judea and Samaria. The word of God, the prophecies, are being fulfilled as shown by the signs of the last day's prophecies that are manifesting in the world right now. We clearly see that the nations are following exactly the prophetic path that is laid out in Holy Bible prophecy of what the nations will do concerning Israel in the prophetic last days that brings in the end time. And for that matter, the Holy Bible prophecies also tell us what is yet going to happen between the nations and Israel in the prophetic path laid out by Holy Bible prophecy. Where one is that the Holy Bible prophecies as Joel 3, Psalm 83, Isaiah 17, and others foretell that Israel's Arab enemies surrounding her will continue to unify against her, opposing Israel until they will all together attack Israel with the intention to destroy Israel completely. And secondly, these same prophecies foretell that although the Arabs in their total all-out war on Israel will press her survival, yet by God's word, Israel will overcome and defeat her enemies in a complete victory that utterly defeats the Arabs to where all their Arab resistance to Israel is burned up completely to where there is peace between Israel and the Arabs. But then thirdly, the Bible prophecy as Ezekiel 38 foretells that this coming peace for Israel will tempt Magog Russia and its allies as Persia, Iran, with a few others to attempt to invade the Holy Land of the Lord. And fourthly, is that the Bible prophecy as Ezekiel 39 foretells that this Gog of Magog invasion, attempt of Israel on attempt on Israel, will be unsuccessful and fail, as the armies of Russia, Iran, Turkey, and a few others will be destroyed by the Lord on the northern mountains of Israel after they have violated the borders of Israel, the Lord's holy land. And then five is that the same Bible prophecy foretells that the current world order and its ongoing long conflict between Magog, Russia, and the West, who think that they live in security in their coastlands west of Israel, that conflict will be ended as the prophecy foretells that the current world order is taken down by fire. Fire that is sent down upon Magog, Russia, and the coastlands of the West. And then six, is that this same prophecy foretells that from the results of these events, of the Gog of Magog prophecy, the prophecy foretells that Israel and the nations will have major realizations that will come to them from these events to where the prophecy describes that the Gentile nations will realize that what has happened was the judgment of God upon the nations and upon Israel. And that Israel will again realize that the Lord, he is their God who sent them into captivity, but also who brought them back into their land. And then seven, the Bible prophecies as Ezekiel 39, together with Daniel 9, and also along with Daniel 8 and Daniel 11, foretell that these events coming out of Ezekiel 39, that they will position Israel and the nations to be positioned to enter into the final prophetic time of seven, where there will be an agreement that the Daniel prophecies call a holy covenant between them. To where number eight, those same Daniel prophecies, along with the revelation of Lord Jesus as chapter 6, 11, 12, and 13, and along with Apostle Paul's prophecy as 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 
The prophecies foretell that this holy covenant of peace between Israel and the nations, which also restores Israel's Jewish worship with sacrifices, it will be facilitated and confirmed by a world leader that has quickly risen up. And then nine, those same prophecies also foretell that this world leader is a deceiver. That is the son of perdition, the servant of Satan who will turn on Israel, who will turn against the holy covenant and cause the nations to forsake it. As number 10, those same holy Bible prophecies foretell that this man of sin, the Antichrist, the beast of revelation, he will muster an army from the nations to successfully invade the Holy Land where he will oppose the Jewish sacrifices of the Holy Covenant of Daniel chapter 9 and chapter 11 prophecies. And then number 11, the Holy Bible prophecies foretell that he, this servant of Satan, the Antichrist, he will successfully invade Israel where the Lord Jesus in Luke chapter 21 describes that the armies of the nations will surround Jerusalem and that they will cleanse Judea of Jews. And 12, those holy, holy Bible prophecies foretell along with Zechariah 14 that Jerusalem will be divided with half the city taken captive by brute force with the houses of the Jews rifled and the Jewish women ravished. And this, along with Daniel 11 and Paul in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and Lord Jesus in Luke 21 and Revelation 13, describe how the Antichrist invading the old city of Jerusalem and the Jewish sanctuary on the Temple Mount that is in the old city of Jerusalem. He will stop the Jewish sacrifices and he will cause himself to be worshipped as a god, resulting in the abomination of desolation as this world leader will make desolate with the armies of the nations bringing upon Israel the days of vengeance with great distress in the land and wrath upon the people when all things that are written in the prophecies are, for, are fulfilled. And right now the nations are gathering and uniting against Israel giving Israel 12 months to get out of Judea and to get out of the old city of East Jerusalem, which includes the Temple Mount, or else, or else they will take action against Israel, which that, that the world order of nations are threatening Israel today with, that they're threatening Israel with now, right now, is exactly what the Holy Bible prophecies foretell that they will do to Israel in the end time. And right now we are seeing, we are watching the path to that end time now opening up to the world as it is being revealed. Amazingly, these events and conditions that I have described to you that are happening now, they are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age. It's revealing that it's time for people to prepare now for the nearing appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3 verses 3 through 5 that we must be born again of the water and of the Spirit as his apostles that Jesus chose and authorized and sanctioned described in the acts of their preaching. The Lord Jesus said in Matthew chapter 16 verses 18 through 19 that his chosen sanctioned apostle was given the keys to the kingdom of God to describe how to be born again of the water and the, of the Spirit. And in the acts of the preaching, in the acts of the apostles in chapters 2, Chapters 8, chapter 10, and chapter 19, the apostles preached how to be born again of the water in the name of Jesus and to be filled with the Holy Ghost of the Lord Jesus. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles, actually in 
their Holy Bible scriptures. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org.org. We're in the footer at the very bottom of the page in the footer in smaller print. You'll find there our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, your state, and also give us your zip code with your requests. And we'll be glad to respond and to help you just like we've helped so many others all across the United States and in other countries. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here. The need has never been greater than right now for a prophetic ministry like signs of the last days to declare the path of the prophetic signs from now to the glorious appearance of Lord Jesus for his church. So please support this ministry to continue with your prayers and with your offerings. We thank you so much for being a part of this prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ Jesus the Lord by helping this prophetic ministry to share the signs of Bible prophecy to the world. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings where we have a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. So please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please make sure you click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos so that you will be notified to where we can share with you amazing prophetic signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening right now in the world. So we can share that with you in our next videos or watch and pray live streams that show that the time of this age is growing short and that the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is very, very soon. Signs of